He was young and he was tough A 1920s child And growing up in Texas dust I have had my down moments and my lonely moments and my scared moments and feeling all alone. Uh, I've, I've had, uh, <clears throat> I've worked all my life. I've had a company, a 12-year corporation. I worked very hard and stressed a lot. And coming to face my own mortality was the toughest thing I've ever had to do. Like today I might be here, tomorrow I might not be here. I really am not ready to leave my grandbaby. I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. That that part I just got through one day at a time and started improving and you know, I'd go for those walks and I'd eat that healthy food. So those little things and keeping up with my music, I love music, has given me the inspiration to continue on. I'm, I'm a spiritual person so I, I say that God's really helped me out a lot again. Those were rough times. Those were tough times. Prior to uh, discovering I had a dissected aorta, I had had no medical issues at all. I had a little bit of arthritis. Um, I'd had a baby a long time ago. I actually was very negligent about going to the doctor and I uh, of course, changed my course of thinking uh, after I had my surgery and, and was going to be a survivor. I was going to survive. It just scared me, scared me more than anything. And I feel God's got me here for a reason to maybe help others not take the course I took and have to be as sick as I got. God spared his life. He came back home. Uh, one never thinks it's going to happen to them. They think they're invulnerable. They can drink, they can smoke, they can do it, they can do this, stay up late, eat fancy foods. It's not going to happen to me, especially when we're young, we think that way. But then the day comes where something's wrong, this pain in the chest or pain in the shoulder, pain in the jaws, uh, my case, pain in the back of my back. Uh, and then you find out it's serious and you never expected that that was gonna to happen to you and you never expected major surgery. A flying target in the sky, flying high with bombs on board. You really need to watch your sodium. I myself am on a 1500 milligram limit a day. If I go over that, I get deathly, deathly ill. So these people that are having 5,000, 10,000 milligrams a day, not even knowing it, it's storing up. And that, what's storing up is what's going to make them sick. I receive emails from the Heart Institute, and one day I got an email from Dr. Willerson talking about Women's Heart Houston. And I thought, I'm going to go to this meeting, and here I did so, and here were these precious women in their 30s, in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and I'm taking my mom next week, who's 88, talking about each other's health and how they got to where they are, what they're doing to get better, and how they keep from being depressed and keep a smile on their face and keep going the next day and the next day. No matter how bad it is, you can get through it. There's always a brighter day tomorrow. Even if you don't believe it, go to sleep, wake up, and there will be a brighter day tomorrow and you're going to find it's, it's really true. It's all okay. I, I can do this. I can do this and, and I'm going to get better and I'm going to be still good for my family and my loved ones. He was strong all along. He was strong all along. My dad's song. <laughs> 